But we have to start with ERCA and the tight conditions at the Texas power grid. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Lawrence and I'm Cynthia Aguirre. We know how this sounds, especially after the winter storm earlier this year. So up front, we want to say no conservation alerts have been issued right now, but our sources tell us that ERCOT is likely in contact with its industrial customers about when they can start conserving and lower energy usage. Yeah, Jason Whiteley is here to put all this in context. Uh, Texans may be wondering how stable the power grid is if we have to keep an eye on it on a cloudy day in the low 80s. Right. Great question. Stability and reliability, the two main priorities right now for lawmakers, for ERCOT, for the Public Utility Commission, for all of them. But Chris, it is important to reiterate that grid conditions are normal at this hour. There is no conservation alert, but the electric supply and the electric demand in Texas, they'll be getting really close to each other in the next couple of hours tonight here between about 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock is when they get really close to each other. Take a look at this forecast here. This is all public information. You can find it at ERCOT. Com, the live grid conditions we keep an eye on all the time here at WFAA between seven and eight. I said is when it's going to be the primary thing to be watching when that blue line gets very close to the purple line. The blue line is demand. That's how much electricity Texas is using right now. The purple line is supply. And that's how much that's available. You can see how close they get. As you said, what's going on? How is this happening on such a beautiful day? Every spring and every autumn when we have pleasant weather outside, power plants get permission to come off the grid to stop making electricity so they can do routine maintenance. Think of it like your car. Every so many miles, you've got to take it in for an oil change and once over. That's what's happening right now. But Jason, if it's so bad outside, why aren't we being asked to conserve? Insiders tell me we should be OK this evening, but they say, ERCOT is likely on the phone with these large industrial customers, places like these big factories all across North Texas and across the state, asking them to conserve so the rest of us don't have to. Within the last uh, hour or so, ERCOT told us it does not have any uh, desire tonight, essentially, to issue a conservation warning. No conservation is needed, and ERCOT said that there is adequate generation to meet the demand. Some electric providers, though, say this coming winter, that could be a different story, and they are concerned about the natural gas supply. What do the gas suppliers say? That's what the latest episode of Yolitix is all about. Hope you can download it wherever you get your podcasts. Right. Cynthia and Chris. Incredibly uh, timely uh, information so. in that podcast.